friends. So for today's craft, I am going to make a fall wreath. So I just went through my craft drawer and I found a whole bunch of fall themed little items that I had in my craft drawer. And that's what I'm going to use to make my wreath. I have a whole bunch of red and green and brown tissue paper. I found these really pretty silk leaves. Really friends, use whatever you have in your craft drawers that's kind of fall themed. Get creative as long as your grown up says it's okay. You're also going to need some paper plates. You're going to need some glue and you are going to need a pair of scissors, but please ask a grown up for help with the scissors friends because they're going to be sharp. So the first thing I did friends is I took my paper plate and I folded it in half and I had cut out this piece of the paper plate friends. Please ask a grown up for help with this friends because the scissors like I said are going to be sharp. So after I cut out my paper plate, this is what I have. So now I'm just going to get creative and start gluing things onto my plate to make my wreath. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to put some tissue paper and I'm just going to put a nice circle of glue friends just like so. So that way I'm all ready and I can just get creative. Like I said friends, I found a bunch of this stuff in my craft drawer, but feel free to use whatever you have in the house as long as your grown up says it's okay. You can use little stickers, you can use little styrofoam pumpkins, anything you have in the house friends is perfect for this fall wreath. So I'm just going to get some tissue paper and I'm going to take a little more glue over the top and I'm going to take, I found these really pretty little leaves in my craft drawer and I'm going to put them on top of the tissue paper to make a little fall wreath for my door. I'm just going to peel off one of the fall leaves and I'm going to press it gently onto my paper plate and I'm just going to get a little more glue around the edges and I'm just going to keep layering my tissue paper and feel free to get really creative with these friends. These are really fun, such a fun way to celebrate fall and the changing season. So much fun. I'm just going to get some red and you can overlap this friends. You can make a beautiful pattern. Really anything goes friends. I'm going to get some green. And I'm going to do the same thing with that fall leaf. I'm going to get a little fall leaf on top of my tissue paper. All right. I'm just going to peel them apart. These do stick a little bit, friends. So just be sure you pull them all apart and you're not you gluing four leaves on top of each other. So we're just going to go like so, friends. And I'm just going to put a little glue and I'm going to press pretty gently onto my leaf and just spread it out so that way it starts to stick. All right. And I'm going to get some more tissue paper. I'm just layering and going around. You can get some foam sticker pumpkins, friends. You can get really anything goes for these. These are so much fun. And the possibilities are endless. This is what I have in the house. So I decided to make the most of my craft drawer. I'm just going to go like so, friends. And I'm just going to keep sticking my beautiful tissue paper for my fall wreath. And this is going to look so pretty on the door. All right. Let's get some more leaves. Okay, these do stick up quite a little bit, friends, as you can see. So just gently pull them apart, just like so. Just gonna get some more of these. I love these leaves, these are so pretty. Okay, and get some green tissue paper. I'm using lots of fall colors. So there's lots of pretty colors in the fall. Such a pretty time of year with all the different changing colors. Okay, I'm gonna get some red. And I'm going to get some more brown and just overlap. I love when these colors overlap. It looks so pretty. All right. Let's do a little more red. Okay. Just like so, friends. And then I'm going to take a little more green. And I'm going to go like so. And then I'm going to take another piece of brown. And then I'm going to take another piece of red. I think red would be perfect right here. Okay. And then I'm going to take another one of my little silky leaves. And I'm going to just glue the little leaf right there. And there you have it, friends. That is my fall wreath. Please post a picture of what you made for your wreath in the comments. And I'll see you again real soon for some more crafty fun. Bye, friends.